Hey guys, River Tramp Renegade. I uh, wanted to give you another update on the van search. I still do not have a van, but I think I've narrowed down my search uh, to what I want. Originally, I was wanting a little longer van and maybe a high top. So, uh, doing some searching and kind of weighing out all the options, I decided I, I don't think I want a high top uh, just for um, you know putting kayaks and stuff on top will be a little more difficult. Um, and, and then it, going down some of the trails that I go down uh, at Land Between the Lakes, uh, all the branches and everything. So I think I've decided against the high top and as far as the extended length, that would really be nice. I had my eye on a couple vans they sold before I could get to them, uh, so that didn't work out. But I think I've narrowed it down to something that I've never seen um, anyone else build out and I don't know why uh, they don't build them out. but. You guys know I've got some rental property and I have a tool trailer outside the garage there. It's an enclosed trailer and I've got all my tools in there. Well, I'm going to have to buy something to either pull that trailer or something to put my tools in so I can just have you know one vehicle and get rid of the trailer. But um, I've narrowed it down to uh, what's called a KUV um vehicle it's like a it's a nap hide utility um, it's a van bed is what it is so um, if you just google KUV van um, I'll put a picture in here real quick so yeah something like that uh, that's just one I pulled off of Google and uh, that's kind of what I'm looking for but I've got some drawings and what I've got in mind on these things and I'll tell you um, here, here's kind of what I sketched out, which is probably backwards. I'm probably going to flip it the other way because the driver's side door is going to stay closed on the back most of the time. So you want to open this side and get in this way. So this cabinet will be over here. But anyways, if you'll look, um, what I've got here, inside the bed of that, I would have a bench, like an L-shaped bench. And then, you know, I'd have some storage underneath here. I have my fridge, you know, my toilet storage would go in here um, and then it could fold out and become a bed um, so basically the measurements on those are 54 by like 129 so I've got it drawn out here and I don't know if you can tell but this is 54 inches from here to here this is the each cushion is 18 inches wide so you have 18 inches wide here 18 here and then this middle section is uh, 18 inches um, then, so basically you'll have a cushion here that's 36, you'll have a cushion here that's 54 by 18, a cushion here that's 54 by 18, and then in the back right here, you'll have a cushion up and down that's 54 by 18. I'm going to put a pole here hopefully for uh, like a table, and that, that tabletop will be a two-piece, but it'll be have like a piano hinge. And so I'll be able to put a table in there and have a dinette, but that you take the pole out and fold the table down and set it on a little rail here. And then you'll take the back cushion from there and put it in that place and you'd have a bed. So um, I, I hope you can see that uh, this, this GoPro here, I really can't see what I'm filming sometimes, but I think you kind of get the general idea. Um, the cool thing about that is in those um, utility vans, you're going to have this little ledge here um, for you know storage and whatnot. So I'll be able to put my stove top here. I'll be able to store food um, up on the shelf, and then you know, of course, I can always have a sink in that countertop. But from the outside, I'll be able to open one of those storage compartments and have my you know water storage inside the you know the storage unit on the outside so I won't have to have tanks inside the van uh, because there's going to be a little you know limited space on that uh, 54 by 129 is really not that big um, but I'll, I'll be able to keep the water storage in the toolboxes I'll be able to keep my battery bank in the toolboxes and the cool thing about those vans is they've got a ladder rack on top um, that'll be perfect for my kayaks um, I can also fit most of my tools in the in the body if I need to. Uh, that way I can go and work on my rental properties when I need to uh, or if I'm flipping the house again I'll have something to haul the tools around and if it proves to you know not be enough room I can always go back with a small utility trailer like I've got now but that's kind of what I have in mind so it's just a matter of time uh, finding that 
that particular vehicle so I think now that I've narrowed it down uh, it it might take me a little longer to find because I'm looking for something so specific but I really think that's what I'm gonna try um, I've never seen those done that way and they're I'm not saying they're not out there surely somebody's done it um, but I'm just uh, trying to look at other builds and things and I've seen some some pretty neat builds um, I had one of my subscribers I want to thank uh, you for sending me uh, pictures of your build you've got a cutaway van um, that looks great it's similar to what this is um, but mine I don't want to be so tall um, so anyways thanks for watching I hope I can find something fairly soon um, but I want to buy the right vehicle uh, that's going to work out for me so um, y'all have a good one I'll see you next time